What's up, you guys? I'm Mariah with Focus Firm, and we are in front of the Castle Theater for the No Time for BS Tour. I hope you guys are focused. So, Demick, how did you get started? Uh, I actually got my first opportunity in music from uh, Corrupt from the Dog Pound. Mm -hmm. uh, he discovered me and some of my friends out in uh, Philadelphia and, and tried to get us to come to Los Angeles to do music, and we did. And from there, I met Be Real from Cypress Hill. Then I met Exhibit. Then I met, you know, a whole bunch of people. And now here I am on the road doing shows for the fans. So you have worked with some of the biggest West Coast well, rappers in general, such as Snoop Dogg, Corrupt, Mr. Pimp My Ride himself, Exhibit. So how was that experience? I mean, it's it was humbling. And then just knowing that you're on the level, you're on the playing field, that where they want you in those studios, where they want to put you on them stages with them and uh, put you in groups and things like that. And feels good because it's a lineage thing. Hip hop is something that uh, the culture is something you pulled into, something that you got to, you got, there's no book. You can't just go get a book and figure it out. Like, okay, dang, rule number six in hip hop is I need to do this. Something that's kind of showed to you uh, and something that you got to figure out on your own. So to get the knowledge from people like that feels good. Okay, so you just said about, you just said something about having to get a feel for it for yourself. I heard about you having this freestyle with Dr. Dre, Dr. Dre on the spot and you were able to spit. So how was that? I mean, that was like one of those hip hop moments that you always wanted the opportunity to get in front of Dre and, and show him what you got. And, and it was dope. It was, you would think that something like that would come down to more than, than a, a boom box and, mm -hmm. and Dr. Dre being like, yo, what you got? And then telling somebody else, like, you better be ready because this guy's going to come next. Like, that shit you do when you, like, in high school rapping with your homies, you never think it's going to come down to uh, the big leagues like that, you know. At the drop of a dime, you're able to spit. That just shows you know your passion and you, you're ready for anything. So tell us about your new music that you have out. I thought she was about to set me up and be like, rap right now. Well, then I you, mean, I, do, I, you, do you want Tony Cole you want said, to? no, you're you going you gonna to see some of the show, right? Yes. I definitely. Okay, well, thank you. Um, so another question I have is, so you're on tour right now. What can we expect from you tonight? Uh, just a live show. The whole tour package is dope. You know, uh, shouts out to Futuristic for giving me the opportunity to get out here uh, and get in front of his fan base and perform. And just everybody who's on the tour is, is real dope. You know, a lot of talent. So uh, I'm just happy to be out here. And what you can expect is just energy. And um, I listen to your song, Smoke. I am a fan, and I, what I really like is the lyrics behind it. It's meaningful, and it reflects a lot of obstacles that people are going through right now. And despite the, whatever's going on, they stay focused. So how, what, is, what motivates you to write that song? Well, obviously my love for marijuana helped me motivate it. <laughs> and the reasons why I like to smoke, I want to do a record that actually uh, wasn't just like, you know, typical like smoke song. I wanted to tell you to people like when you're like damn man fuck I just had a messed up day at my job bro like what the hell like I, where's a blunt like let, let's get high let's just relax let's kick it with oh you know your friends and and get your mind off all the problems that you have okay a lot of people I'm pretty sure can relate to that <laughs> so you on the east coast are there any rappers you would like to feature with or anything or work with uh, one of the artists there's actually a couple that are on this uh on this run that I definitely want to work with that I met along the way, but one of the people that I definitely want to work with is uh, Troy Ab. Okay. No, you want to tell me about him right quick? He's just like a new, like, uh, New York rapper that's kind of like, just has that essence that I like, like talking mad shit, being reckless, like all the stuff from hip hop, from rappers that you like, like Jay Z and Fifty Cent and things like that, like that kind of energy. It's new people. I want to. I work with a lot of like you know people that are older than me, like a lot of legends. It's like I want to work with some new energy, some some young cats that that really want to go out there and and make the future. Just like this Taurus, uh, you know, WTF gang. We the future. Like just people building up and doing things. I I like that energy. So. Okay, so speaking of like rap history, you talked about Jay Z, um, Snoop Dogg, Too Short, and all those other rappers. Who would you say what what rap era is your favorite? Um, I think my rap era that's favorite is right now because I'm participating in it and you know uh, contributing to it. So mm -hmm. my era is the best. Yeah. Okay, so if it's if you can give advice to any upcoming rappers, who will it be? I mean, what will it be? I'm sorry. Um, 
share your craft, man. If you're making all these songs and all this music and you're not putting it out there for nobody to listen to or or you're just not sharing your, your thing, and, and that's the number one thing. Make your music, stay consistent, and deliver it to the fans because if it's good, it'll grow. People start hitting you up, bothering you for stuff. You know, you don't always got to bug somebody and be like, yo, listen, listen, listen all the time. You do that and you get, you cultivate, you know, your base, people will come to you. Okay. So what's next, Demrick? Where can we buy your music? Where can we listen to it? Uh, I just dropped a deluxe edition of my All the Wrong Things 2 on iTunes. Uh, that just came out January 28th. Um, after this tour, I'm going to Europe with uh, Exhibit and Be Real. You know, I'm in a group with them called Serial Killers. So. Okay. Um, leaving directly from here to go there, and then I'm dropping a uh, independent album in May, late part of May, called Losing Focus. You're talking about um, performing overseas, so how is that? I mean, performing overseas is good because uh, you know you get a chance to bring the culture, the American culture, the West Coast culture, just the life. It even gets down to your block and you know where you come from and the things that make you you. You get the chance to go share that with people that just only see it on TV or just see it from who they meet. So, you know, it's a, it's a trip that they can't even, a lot of the countries you go to, they can't even speak English, but they can sing every word of the songs. Okay, okay so how can your fans and people who want to get to know you, how can they stay connected to you? It's easy, I am Demrick Everything, I-A-M-D-E-M-R-I-C-K, all social medias, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, I just got on there, and uh, you know, just everything. You know, I am Demrick.com, Google. And the one thing I noticed from Twitter is that you had some free time on your hands. You allowed your fans to connect to connect with you, ask you questions. So how important are your fans to you? They're super important. You know, I was I was real focused on the industry and I, I really thought to myself that I would take the focus off the industry and I would put it on my fans because I know they take me to where I want to go. We could go together. Okay, well, Denver, thank you for this exclusive interview. Um, stay warm, keep your chucks clean and everything. Oh yeah, thank you. <laughs>